Hi, Peter Drew again, and welcome to the Hangout Millionaire video tutorial for step three, global settings. So here's the software, and for this example, I'll just use local video, choose a directory with videos in it. It's found two, so I click on next, and that brings us to step three, global settings. What I'm gonna teach you here is how to use profiles. So the software comes default with one sample profile, and what you can do is do with that is first thing you can do is once you've set up a, a profile you can duplicate it by clicking on the rename and we'll call it sample 2 so there you go now we've got sample profile and the second one that I've made so once you've added all your data it's easy to create a separate profile maybe you'd like to use for a different uh, set of U uh, YouTube account etc and what's really cool about profiles is that you can transfer them. If you've got VAs or you've got the software running on a couple of different computers, you can find them easily by going to My Documents, Hangout Millionaire, Profiles. And there's the one I just made there. So you can just copy that and send it to a VA or send it to another computer. Then they can put it in this location my documents, Hangout Millionaire profiles, and then when they start the software, they will have that profile that you've created. Obviously, you can delete that profile, then just go back to the original or add a new one for awesome marketing and create a new one from scratch. So, let's go back to sample profile and now we will go over these features listed below. Now you'll see we're referring to first images order and last images order. You can find these back over here where we were, Hangout Millionaire. So it's my documents, Hangout Millionaire. First page and last page. So these are the images that we use. We attach at the beginning of the video and last page is the images we attach to the end of the video. The software comes default with these uh, generic images you can use. We use these these images they are what's used as thumbnails on our high authority self-hosted video network so when your videos are distributed to our video network and they're indexed in Google. These are the thumbnails that are listed beside your entry in Google. So feel free to use these or put your own in there. And similarly for the last page, we may, I've put a template there that you can use. That's the correct size to use. And that will be tacked on to the end of your, of, of your video and you can put a great call to action on this image to suit your market. If you have a selection of images that you'd like to run one after the other, you can check on here and the software will provide them in an alphabetical order. Typically, I just leave them both on random. This here is the image that will be displayed on the first, is the text that will be displayed on the first image and the text that will be displayed on the last image. You can leave them empty, you can put call to actions, if you if you've got a phone number for the small business you're promoting it's obviously a good idea to put there to put that there and we have also spin tax in there to ensure each of the videos that you create are unique in terms of duration the software will choose a time between the number you enter here in seconds and the number you enter here that could be 10 typically the last image is longer because we want to keep people viewing your call to action for a long time before the YouTube suggested videos appear. And of course the same with every window to save that information you've put in there click next and that saves it to your profile file. So there it is. Go sample and there it is. So that's pretty much covered it. I'll see you in the next video tutorial about audio settings.